Hey, this is Timo from OnlineBuilderGuy.com and today we are going to be looking at how to work with Squarespace integrations. Now, there are basically two ways to extend the functionality of your website. One is by using the unofficial route, which is by using Squarespace plugins. Uh, these plugins are develop developed by third-party developers and they fall outside the scope of a Squarespace customer support. But if you want to use the official route where Squarespace is offering customer support, that's when you should use integrations. And that's the topic of this video. Now, to get started with integrations, uh, and actually when I got started with integrations, uh, I had to Google this topic a little bit. And I found this document on Squarespace Knowledge Space page uh, called Squarespace Integration. So it's really a great starting point. They basically list all these different integrations that there, there are available right now. But unfortunately, even if this document is comprehensive, I couldn't help thinking that this is just... Uh, this is just a, an extended link list and I would hope that Squarespace would do something about this. First of all, I would like to see that accessing this page would be much easier. So for instance, there would be a menu somewhere uh, here on your website that you are editing called integrations where you could access them very easily. For instance, here on the top level or they would actually include a link somewhere on their website because that would be, in my opinion, it would be a really great way to market this functionality because these integrations are built in into the platform and you do not have to do any app installations if you don't, do not want to. Obviously, if you want to use plugins, plugins that's a different story but these integrations are built in into the platform and no additional installation is required so i think that in that sense they are great but squarespace should definitely market these integrations a little bit better maybe having a link somewhere or, or on the website you, that you are editing somewhere on the top level and then this user interface of this document should be maybe a little bit different. Uh, why not having this list of links in a form of like, let me just show you. So Wix uh, app, Wix apps, let me just show you how Wix is doing it. So they are basically displaying all these different apps on one page very nice looking page and when you click any of these links so you will see all this necessary information on one page so i think that squarespace should definitely have a page like this and then add a link somewhere so that this functionality or this document would be easy to find but that's basically the document that you have to deal with right now so there is nothing else that you can do about it. So of course, you can leave a comment, send an email to the customer su support and say that, hey, please make this document more appealing. But that's the starting point for now. And that's the document that you have to deal with. Uh, you will find all the necessary information here. Like for instance, uh, a little bit later in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to activate an in integration we are actually going to use uh, one of these connected social accounts, uh, YouTube. So for instance, when you click uh, this YouTube link, you will find these instructions on how to, uh, how to activate this uh, integration on your website. Okay, and without any further ado, let's get started with the installation. So, <laughs> yeah, let's get started. So, I have already logged into my account. And what you will have to do first is to, that you have to connect your YouTube account to your Squarespace website. So what you will have to do is you, you will have to go to this settings 
menu or the settings link here on the left and then under website choose connected accounts and here you will connect your YouTube account to your Squarespace website so click connect account and then this window that shows up you will have to scroll down a little bit in order to see the video section and then click YouTube and what happens next is that and well this this base is in Finnish but in your case it's in your your language or it's in English but it basically says that I will have to choose an account uh, <clears throat> for this demonstration and um, I'm basically using my online builder guy uh, account and it takes a brief moment uh, when the connection is being done and what will happen next is that you will see that certain settings are already set like this show social icon link is actually selected so it, it says that most templates have built-in social icons but you can dis also display icons anywhere on your site using a social links block but as you can see that there is a, this YouTube icon here on my theme uh, and I'm using paid for theme and I, I guess this is not the case with everything but at least with the paid for it is showing this YouTube icon here on this team on the top right and obviously you can then use the social links block in order to to uh, adjust the location of these social icons and here is also the profile URL which is already being filled in by Squarespace so I do not have to take care of it so I think that everything is 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 really great here and what I will have to do next is is that I will click save and yeah, the connection is now done. Now, if you want to get rid of this connection for some reason, you will have to click the disconnect link. Let me just go back. So you will have to choose this connection here on the left and click disconnect. And uh, then Squarespace is actually asking you to confirm this action. So in this case, since I'm continuing with the demonstration, I'm not going to dis connect my account so I'm choosing cancel but if you would be doing this for real then you would have to click confirm and then the connection would be you know uh, cancelled but let me just go back here uh, and click save again for here and uh, yeah so the connection is now done and let me just go back to pages menu here and I have created a test page for my YouTube video and I want to just show you how to actually connect a YouTube video to your page if you want to do that so hover over the content area of your website and you will see page content menu that pops up and click the edit and next what will what you will have to do is that you will have to click the plus sign and then choose the video under the basic uh, basic section of this menu that comes visible and I have a link to one of my videos on YouTube so let me just copy that and let me just go back to this video setting window uh, just enter the URL of the video and as you can see that uh, Squarespace is already displaying uh, my video how it's how it will actually look so let me just click cancel here so <clears throat> in this case I already I'm already using a custom thumbnail but obviously that's the that's the setting that you would be able to set next so thumbnail is nothing more than just a starting image on your video so rather than to rather than just showing raw footage of your video as a starting point you are seeing this nice looking picture uh, at the beginning of your video and it make makes things maybe a little bit more compelling 
when people are browsing or searching YouTube and they are looking for videos for certain for certain topics, so they will see this uh, this image first instead of just raw footage of a video. Uh, and then what you will see next is that you have uh, do not display caption which is set on by default. So what it means, and as you can see here that there, uh, when I started connecting my YouTube video to, do, to this Squarespace webpage, so Squarespace actually grabbed the piece of information from YouTube and uh, <clears throat> you can basically display the captions under the video or not. So let's see what will happen if I choose the caption below option. Uh, yeah, so it basically shows this caption text under the video, but uh, I have never used this functionality and uh, I think that it doesn't look so good. So rather than, you know, having this caption here, let me just choose the do not display caption and as you can see that this this text was this this text disappeared so it's not displaying under the video okay so everything is set so let me just click apply and let me just click save once again and now I have embedded uh, a YouTube video uh, on this page Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see if there is anything else. Uh, yeah, I think this is pretty much it. This is what I wanted to show you. Go to this... Um, let me just go back to this page. So go to the Squarespace Integrations webpage where you will find more information related to uh, integrations and uh, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to uh, uh, contact me either by clicking the link under this video, you, you will see a link which uh, leads to a blog post that I have written related to Squarespace integrations. Leave a comment there or leave a comment on this YouTube video or go to my contact form on my blog and, and send an email to me and uh, if you get stuck, let me know and let's see what I can do. Uh, hopefully I can help you. So, uh, But anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about when it comes to plugins and uh, I will get back to you soon. Bye-bye.